सो नाउ विल डिस्कस हाउ टू राइट इन एग्जाम ठीक है तो पहले फर्स्ट इज टाइट्रेशन सो द फर्स्ट एम विच यू हैव टू बी गिवन एंड यू हैव टू राइट इन आंसर शीट टाइट्रेशन सो वॉट यू विल राइट इन योर आंसर शीट क्या क्या लिखना है फर्स्ट यू हैव टू राइट द एम विच विल बी रिटर्न ऑन द बोर्ड सेकेंड रिक्वायर्ड मटीरियल इन रिक्वायर्ड मटीरियल यू विल राइट वॉट एवर द मटीरियल आर यूजिंग सो दीज आर द पॉइंटर्स थर्ड थ्योरी फोर्थ इन थ्योरी यू कैन राइट आइनिक इक्वेशन इक्वेशन मॉलिकुलर इक्वेशन और आइनिक इक्वेशन और यू कैन राइट बोथ देन आफ्टर वेट ऑफ ऑक्सालिक एसिड और मोहर सॉल्ट सो प्रिपरेशन फॉर प्रिपेरिंग द मोहर सॉल्ट और ऑक्सालिक एसिड हाउ मच वेट इज रिक्वायर्ड सो वेट ऑफ ऑक्सालिक एसिड और मोहर सॉल्ट फॉर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ हंड्रेड एम एल टू फिफ्टी एम एल वॉट एवर सो यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द वेट ऑफ ऑक्सालिक एसिड और मोहर सॉल्ट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट ऑब्जर्वेशंस Six points minimum. Next, you have to make the observation table. Next, you have to write calculation. Uh, sorry. Uh, after observation table, just uh, at the bottom of the observation table, you have to write concordant reading. concurrent reading and then calculation in which you have to write first formula and then do the calculation then you have to write result so molarity and strength of the kemenophore is such and such and finally <clears throat> you have to write precautions any two to three precautions related to titration so these are the pointers so what is aim required materials theory equation weight of oxalic or mohr salt calculation observations observation table concurrent reading calculation result precautions now i will show how these pointers should be covered okay now you can see the experiment how to write it in this uh, what you have to uh, do and write it okay in this you can see uh, this is the aim to prepare a standard solution of m by 20 mohr salt solution that is ammonium ferrous salt solution which formula is fpso4 dot nh4 whole twice so4 dot 6s2 which is a double salt so aim you have to write to prepare standard solution of m by 20 mohr salt and using this titrate the given kmno4 solution and find out molarity and the strength of the given kmno4 solution the so first point you have to write aim which will be written on the board second material requires what are the materials you are using in titration what you use use burette and whatever the volume of the burette you can mention if you are using macro then you can write 50 ml if you are using micro then you have to write 5 ml okay so suppose if you are using macro then you write burette pipette conical flask beaker measuring flask burette stand funnel watch glass balance mohr salt potassium permanganate sulfuric acid okay so what materials you are using accordingly you write no need of learning whatever you ob observing and seeing you can write all the required materials okay then after you go for the theory theory you you can write in own language because in class 12 you are doing what redox titration so simply you can write it is a type of redox titration 
in which KMnO4 acts as an oxidizing agent and Mohr salt acts as a reducing agent. In KMnO4, Mn is present in plus 7 oxidation state due to which it is violet in color. So you can write ki Mn7 plus reduced to Mn2 plus in acidic medium that is dilute sulfuric acid. The acid used in this titration is dilute sulfuric acid, not nitric acid, because nitric acid uses a cell uses an oxidizing agent, and hydrochloric acid also not used because it reacts with KMnO4 to liberate chlorine gas. So again, repeating, simply you write it is a type of redox titration in which KMnO4 is an oxidizing agent, Mohr is a reducing agent, KMnO4 oxidizing agent which reduces plus 7 state to plus 2 state. Acidic medium is required and hence we add dilute sulfuric acid. In acidic we add dilute sulfuric acid not nitric acid or HCl because nitric acid itself is a strong oxidizing agent. So it oxidizes and HCl is a <clears throat> HCl reacts with KMnO4 to liberate chlorine gas. In this titration, there is a no indicator used because KMnO4 acts as a self-indicator. And Mohr salt that oxidizes from Fe2 plus to Fe3 plus by loss of an electron. Mohr salt is a very stable compound, so it is prepared as a primary standard solution. In this titration, heating of ferrous ammonium sulfate is not required because reaction is already very fast. Okay, so these are the pointers which you write in theory. Own language you can use. Okay, after theory, you have to write reactions. Reaction you can write. I always prefer to write the ionic equation. In ionic equation, you have to write the half equation. Reduction half, oxidation half. Reduction half means uh, MnO4 is reduced, reduces. <clears throat> to write equation, MnO4 minus reduces to Mn2 plus by gain of 5 electrons. Now balance oxygen for 4 oxygen, you have to write 4 water and for balance hydrogen, you have to write 8H plus. So this is a reduction half equation. MnO4 minus plus 5 electrons plus 8H plus gives Mn2 plus plus 4 water. Second, oxidation half in which Mohar that is Fe2 plus oxidizes to Fe3 plus by loss of an electron and then to cancel the electron both equation will be multiplied. So second equation multiplied by 5 so that electron in both equation will be cancelled out and then what you write the overall equation mm -hmm. MnO4 minus electron to cancel ho jayega. MnO4 minus plus 5 Fe2 plus plus 8H plus gives Mn2 plus plus 4 water plus 5 Fe3 plus. So you can write only ionic equation. If you want to write molecular equation, you can write. Otherwise, it is not required. Okay. So the next, uh, what I told, first aim you have written, then required material, then theory, then reaction, and then amount of salt required to prepare 100 ml Mohar salt solution. Amount of salt. Kaise karna hai? Iske liye? Iske liye you have to use the formula. You can see what is the formula of this. All of you know what is the molarity formula. Molarity is what? All of you know what is molarity? Molarity is, tell me, yeah. Anybody? Yeah. So, molarity is N by V or given mass upon molar mass into volume. If volume you are taking in milliliter, so it is divided. Okay. So the molarity formula is a given mass upon molar mass, volume and thousand. So molarity is given. What is the molarity of Mohr salt is given? 1 by 20. Weight you have to calculate. What is the molar mass of the Mohr salt? You can see the molar mass of Mohr salt is what? 392. 
वॉल्यूम कितने के लिए प्रिपेयर कर रहे हो आप यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर हंड्रेड एम एल सो वॉल्यूम यू कैन राइट हंड्रेड एम एल एंड देन यू कैन कैलकुलेट वेट ऑफ मोहर सॉल्ट सो वट इज द वेट ऑफ मोहर सॉल्ट इज कमिंग वन पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स ग्राम्स सो द वेट ऑफ मोहर सॉल्ट फॉर हंड्रेड एम एल इट इज कमिंग वन पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स ग्राम विच यू हैव टू टेक द वेट you can see that um, already we have discussed in the class 1.96 aapko weigh karna hai for preparation of 100 ml theek hai so this is the written part after this you have to write observations observations mein kya kya likhna hai first weight of watch glass which you have taken whatever the the reading is coming suppose if the reading is coming <clears throat> 16. 735 you write that to weight of watch glass weight of watch glass plus mohar salt yani 16.73 plus 1.96 fir minus karenge to it is coming 1.96 to kya kya pointers hai weight of watch glass weight of watch glass plus salt solution taken in burette that is kmno4 solution taken in conical flask yani volumetric flask um क्वानिकल फ्लास में वॉट वी टेक टेन एम एल मोहर सॉल्ट सोल्यूशन एंड टेन एम एल दैट मीन्स अप्रोक्सीमेटली थ्री फोर टेस्ट यू डायल्यूट सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड विच नॉर्मैलिटीज फोर नॉर्मैलिटी नेक्स्ट इज इंडिकेटर यूज केमेनो फोर एक्स इज सेल्फ इंडिकेटर एंड पॉइंट कलरलेस टू लाइट पिंग तो वेरी सिंपली यू कैन राइट रिमेंबर weight of watch glass weight of watch glass plus salt solution taken in burette solution taken in conical flask indicator used and end point so these are the 6 to 7 pointers you have to write okay after observation you will write, write observation table in a tabular form so serial number 1 2 3 whatever number volume of mohar salt you are taking 10 ml 10 ml 10 ml in all readings so you have to make the column volume of mohar salt burette reading in which you write initial reading of the burette final reading of the burette and then difference of between final minus initial and that is nothing but volume of kmno4 used in milliliter okay to so ye this one you are writing 10 ml 10 ml initial reading suppose if you have started with 0 and the final reading is coming 9.9 so the difference is coming 9.9 in second reading the initial reading of burette become 9.9 yahi se start kar doge and then suppose if it is coming ten point eight sorry eleven point eight so sorry suppose if it is coming 11.8 so what the difference is coming 11.8 okay so what it's coming means um, 9 just a minute so sorry so sorry wait 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 but a second just a minute Okay, so now we have started the zero. See, कर रहे हैं तो nine point nine. That is the difference nine point nine. Second reading के लिए that nine point nine become the initial reading. And if suppose the final reading is coming nineteen point eight. Or suppose nineteen nineteen point seven. The difference is coming nine point eight. Now this nineteen point seven become now initial reading. and this in 19.7 just you tight it and see what the reading is coming suppose it is coming 29.5 so what is the difference is coming 9.8 so these 9.8 and 9.8 is called concordant reading or concordant volume What is the meaning of concordant reading? Concordant reading means the two consecutive readings should be same. Okay, 
But if suppose first is coming 9.8, 9.9, second is coming 9.8, and third is coming 9.9. तो वी कैन नॉट से दिस इज अंटेंट रीडिंग कॉन्फिडेंट रीडिंग का मतलब होता है कि एक साथ दो रीडिंग सेम सेम होने चाहिए सो द टू कॉन्जिक्यूटिंग रीडिंग शुड बी सेम तो वट इज अ कॉन्फिडेंट रीडिंग हेयर कमिंग इट इज कमिंग वॉट नाइन पॉइंट एट सो यू जस्ट राइट नाइन पॉइंट एट ठीक है नाउ नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज कैलकुलेशन कैलकुलेशन में फर्स्ट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द मोलैरिटी so what the molarity is coming you have to write that so first is a molarity for molarity we have to write the formula first what is the formula n1 m1 v1 is equal to n2 m2 v2 ye ek n1 kiske liye le rahe ho mention karoge that is mohr salt ke liye n2 kiske liye rahe ho you have to mention so formula you have to write n1 m1 v1 is equal to n2 m2 v2 uh, one is for mohr salt and two is for kmno4 Now, what is the n one and n two? Small n one and n small n two. Yeah. So small n one is nothing but n factor. So what is the n factor of Mohr salt? One. What is the meaning of n factor? Loss of electron or gain of electron. You can see from here also. N factor. You can see from the equation. In KMnO four, how many electron is loss over there? Sorry, gain. कितने इलेक्ट्रॉन गेन करा फाइव सो इट्स एन फैक्टर इज फाइव एंड दिस एन फैक्टर इज वॉट वन तो वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एन फैक्टर गेन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन और लॉस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन सो केमेनो फोर एन फैक्टर इज फाइव एंड मोहर सॉल्ट एन फैक्टर इज वन सो दैट यू हैव टू राइट ओवर देयर ओके सो कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट सेम ओके सो व्हाट इज एन फैक्टर हियर वन मोहर का एन फैक्टर क्या है वन केमेनो फोर का एन फैक्टर क्या है व्हाट इज एन फैक्टर ऑफ केमेनो फोर एन टू कितना है फाइव गेन ऑफ फाइव इलेक्ट्रॉन्स राइट तो कैलकुलेशन में हमने क्या यूज करना है एन वन एम वन वी वन इक्वल टू एन टू एम टू V2, N1 कितना है के ऑफ मोहरियो इज वॉट वन बाई ट्वेंटी पेपेट आउट कितना किया टेन एम एल सो दैट इज फिक्स एन टू मीन्स फॉर केमेनो फोर एन टू क्या है फाइव मोलैरिटी वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट वॉल्यूम क्या लोगे दिस कॉन्फिडेंट रीडिंग दैट इज अ वॉल्यूम नाइन पॉइंट एट राइट ना आफ्टर दैट यू विल कैलकुलेट इट एंड यू विल फाइंड आउट द मोलैरिटी वैल्यू So now, what is the molarity is coming? So this M two is coming, okay. So this M two is coming. Mm, you can write. Yes, zero to cancel. Will jaega. So this M two is coming one upon two into five into nine point eight. Okay, means um uh, ten. Uh, five to the ten. That means nine point eight. It is coming. One upon ninety-eight. It is coming molarity. Yeah, you can further calculate, right? So molarity after molarity, you have to go by what? You have to calculate what, Pache? Yes. So then after you have to calculate the strength of the KMnO four solution. What is the formula of strength? Molarity, yani m two into molar mass. So the formula of strength is molarity into molar mass. ओके व्हाट इज अ मोलारिटी एम टू क्या हमने कैलकुलेट किया मोलारिटी इज व्हाट एम टू कितना हमने निकाला भी जस्ट दिस एम टू इज वन अपॉन नाइनटी एट ठीक है मोलारिटी इज वन अपॉन नाइनटी एट मोलर मास कितना है इसका वन फिफ्टी एट सो इफ यू कैलकुलेट यू विल गेट इट अप्रोक्सीमेटली वन पॉइंट सिक्स एंड वॉट इज अ यूनिट ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ ग्राम पर लीटर so this is the method by which you can find out the strength okay so this is the calculation part after calculation you have to write the result in result you have to write first molarity of the given kmno4 solution is 1 upon 98 molarity capital m unit you have to mention and second strength of given kmno4 solution is 
1.6 gram per liter. Remember, you have to write with unit. Everywhere unit has number. And then you can write the precautions. Okay. In precautions, you write any two. Always rinse the burette and prepare with the solution to be taken in them. Never rinse the conical flask with experimental solution. Remove the air gap, if any, from the burette. Never forget to remove the funnel from the burette before noting the initial reading of the burette. Or any relevant precaution you can write. Is it clear? Okay. So, I hope uh, or you can once again, you can see what is the first point. Aim, required material, theory, ionic equation, uh, weight of Mohar salt, how to calculate, observations, observation table, concurrent reading, calculation, first molarity, and then strength. What is the formula of strength? Strength is molarity into molar mass and then result and then precaution. I hope it is clear. Okay. So this one you can write very easily and hence. Okay. So similarly you have to write oxalic acid also. Okay. This is clear. ठीक है बच्चे समझ आ गया ना एम मटेरियल रिक्वायर्ड थ्योरी आने के इक्वेशन वेट निकालना है ऑब्जर्वेशंस ऑब्जर्वेशन टेबल कॉन्फिडेंट रीडिंग कैलकुलेशन रिजल्ट प्रिकॉशंस एक्जैक्टली सेम यू यू कैन राइट द फॉर ऑक्सालिक एसिड ओनली द डिफरेंस ऑफ ऑक्सालिक एसिड इज ऑक्सालिक एसिड अगर आता है तो क्या लिखोगे सेम यू हैव टू राइट फर्स्ट एम रिक्वायर्ड मटेरियल थ्योरी Theory में only one line you can add. Uh, it is a redox titration in which KMnO4 is an oxidizing agent in which MnR reduces plus 7 state to plus 2. And oxalic acid is an oxidizing agent which oxidizes from plus 3 oxidation state to plus 4. And um, only one point you have to add that in this oxalic acid has to be heated 60 to 70 degrees Celsius. Okay, because it is kinetically slow. So, to speed the rate of reaction, it is heated 62. Sorry, point very same. Okay, it is a redox titration. KMnO4 is oxidizing agent. Oxalic acid reducing agent. KMnO4 reduces plus 7 state to plus 2 state. Oxalic acid oxidizes from plus 3 state to plus 4. KMnO4 acts as a self-indicator. Dilute sulfuric acid is added for providing the acidic medium. And oxalic acid is heated from 60 to 70 degree Celsius to increase the rate of reaction. Then you have to write the ionic equation. First step is the same. H plus you, you can add over here H plus. Because, okay. Uh, MnO4 minus plus 5 electron and gives Mn2 plus for balancing oxygen. You are mentioning water and for balancing hydrogen you have to write H plus okay and oxalate and kiss may change your CO2 may and by loss of two electrons so what is the n factor here the n factor of this is five so the n factor of KMnO4 is five and the n factor of oxalic acid is what two suppose if it is n1 it is n2 okay okay then after you can again amount of uh, sorry oxalic acid amount of oxalic acid amount of oxalic acid required to prepare 100 ml for m by 40 oxalic acid solution so, what is the molar mass of oxalic acid? What is the formula of oxalic acid? COH, COH dot 2H2O. So, what is the molar mass of oxalic acid? 90 plus 36 means 126. So, what is the molarity? Molarity is what? Given mass upon 
मोलर मास इंटू वॉल्यूम इंटू थाउजेंड वॉल्यूम इज इन मिली लीटर मोलैरिटी इज गिवेन वॉट वन बाई फोर्टी वेट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट मोलर मास इज वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स वॉल्यूम कितना लिया हमने वॉल्यूमेट्री फ्लास का हंड्रेड एम एल सो वॉट द वेट ऑफ ऑक्जैलिक एसिड इज कमिंग दिस इज कमिंग वेन यू कैलकुलेट द वेट ऑफ ऑक्जैलिक एसिड इज वॉट इट इज कमिंग दिस थ्री पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट थ्री वन फाइव ग्राम ओके सो बाय दिस यू कैन कैलकुलेट द वेट ऑफ ऑक्जैलिक एसिड नाउ अगेन ऑब्जर्वेशन वेट ऑफ वॉच ग्लास वेट ऑफ वॉच ग्लास प्लस ऑक्जैलिक एसिड सोल्यूशन टेकन इन ब्यूरेट सोल्यूशन टेकन इन कॉनिकल फ्लास्क इंडिकेटर यूज एंड एंड पॉइंट कलर इज टू लाइट पिंक एवरीथिंग इज सेम ऑब्जर्वेशन टेबल सेम वॉल्यूम ऑफ ऑक्जिलिक ऑक्जैलिक एसिड सोल्यूशन इन मिली लीटर ब्यूरेट रीडिंग वॉल्यूम ऑफ केमिनो फोर यूज सेम इनिशियल जीरो नाइन पॉइंट नाइन एनीथिंग और इट मे बी टेन सेकेंड इनिशियल बिकम टेन इट इज टेन द डिफरेंस इज टेन टेन दैट कॉन्फिडेंट रीडिंग यू कैन राइट टेन नाउ कैलकुलेशन अगेन वॉट इज अस्ट वॉट वी हैव टू राइट वी हैव टू राइट द फॉर्मूले दैट इज वॉट okay so we can write n1 m1 v1 n2 m2 v2 one kis ke liye liya oxalic theek hai what is the n1 value n factor ke humne bataya just two oxalic acid two and kmo4 five what is the molarity of oxalic acid 1 by 40 volume kitna spit out kiya 10 ml and this molarity we have to find out and this v2 is nothing but concatenant volume suppose if it is coming 9.9 that you have to mention Okay, so after molarity, you have to find out the strength of the KMnO four. Same, okay, and result precautions. Okay, so this is clear how to write an exam. Okay, so thank you so much.